Hello, I'm Jonah and I'm going to talk about the slavery in America that it, well, that it's one of the greatest part of the history of America. Slavery started in uh, 1619 uh, when 20 African slaves were brought to America uh, to a, a Britain colony. Throughout the 17th century, uh, the slavery turned as a um, cheaper and more plentiful uh, labor source. Slaves are people without rights that work for their, for their uh, owners and are totally dependent on them. The, uh, here you can see a storyline of some of the most important things that happened uh, through the, throughout the 17th and 18th century. Could you explain? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Uh, in that centuries, um, slaves worked in cotton and in cotton plantations, but the um, production uh, was limited by the difficulty of separating the the seeds from the from the raw cotton. But one day, a young man uh, invented the the cotton gene that was a machine that made that labor much easier and much faster. So uh, the dependence on slave labor increased totally. Between, between uh, 1774 and 1,804, 1,804 uh, the Northern States abolished, uh, the, uh, abolished the, the slavery. But for the Southern States, it was still vital for the economy. Uh, sorry. Uh, in the 1860s, the abolitionist movement, movement was born and it wanted to abolish the, the slavery. One of the most important uh, activists was Frederick Douglass, that was a escaped slave and it was uh, now activist. And some in the uh, the people from the northern northern states helped uh, escape uh, slaves get out from the plantations by a via a network of uh, safe houses that helped them to escape from the from the slavery. And in 1863, uh, uh, Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation that, end the, that ends the slavery in America. And this is one of the, the quotes, quotes that said Lincoln, slaves within any state or designated part of, of a state in rebellion shall be then, then forward and forever free. And that's all.